It was a pretty chaotic time. I arrived straight from language training in Taiwan and found the center in this trailer behind Memorial Church where people from all kinds of departments hung out. I came quite early on. I was in the history department and PhD program, but I recall going over to CIS, which was headquartered in some portable, maybe down there where the dorms are now, I forgot exactly where it is. And I remember it was sort of basically an aluminum box. We needed a place where people from different disciplines would meet together because that was a very important part of the education. Also, we started this master's program, and that was cited at the center. It was not a departmental program, it was an interdepartmental program, and so its center was at the trailer. So it served a lot of purposes and was very active. The Center for East Asian Studies was brand new, That my undergraduate advisor, John Lewis, came here with a mandate to build that program, this program, the East Asian Studies which was in a trailer out behind where the law school is now, a double-wide trailer, pretty humble. But it quickly became a center for making placards to go to demonstrations against the war, brown bag seminars. It was very different in 1968 than it is today. That East Asia was China, Taiwan, and Japan. There was nothing on Korea, there was nothing on Southeast Asia, but it was an exciting time to be doing the region because of the war and the strong anti-war sentiment among the graduate students. I think the administrators and the, the academics and students were, were really interested in having this space where we could get together and talk. And so there were brown bag lunches and there were Friday afternoons, there were get-togethers, there were picnics. I did find that the Center for East Asian Studies provided a great social safety net. There were a lot of people from different departments who met there. So instead of just having to hang out with poli-sci bros all the time, I could meet a whole lot of different people at Stanford who are also studying Chinese, Japanese, or some aspect of East Asian Studies. And that's why it was important to me. The interactions with the other students, both the MA and then the, the graduate students as well, were very, very rich. I remember learning so much from such an amazing variety of people, some of whom have gone on to be very famous. The welcome was very cerebral. That is, we just talked and talked and talked and talked. And it was people from all the disciplines, history, anthropology, economics, literature, language and linguistics, every imaginable discipline that was taught about East Asia at Stanford. The Center for East Asian Studies represented a kind of pan-university center for those of us interested in one way or another with the East Asian area. We were studying Asia for a purpose that went beyond studying Asia. 